The move away from a homey Thanksgiving seems to be evident in the newspapers. Ads are scattered about imploring you to join them for dinner. Families are still eating their turkey, but they're now letting someone else do the work. Morrison's Cafeteria at the Eastgate Shopping Center sold more than 300 turkeys this year. Complete with all the trimmings, these dinners were ready to go right to the table. Well, we just found out it was easier to have them do it and come out and pick it up than having to have their wife spend half the night in the kitchen. How come you decided to uh, let somebody else do the work? I always do it because I work every day and it just takes too much time. I'd rather do it this way. I think it's too much work to do it when they do it so well. How come you decided to come here for them instead of doing them at home? My mom sent me. I don't think, uh, I don't know, I've never seen her cook a turkey. I don't know if she knows how. Some people even take this holiday one step further. They still eat on the good dishes, but not their own. After all, few homes could put out a spread like this one. You know, the traditional meal, and then I have a little English meal with a roast crown pork and orange rice and the wide variety of salads, traditional, and some uh, festive salads, such as the uh, Tahitian mist, which is a big favorite at Thanksgiving. But even though that menu packed the dining room today, even an executive chef knows that some competition is just too tough. Is that nobody cooks like Ma, you know, and I could try forever to try to do it and uh, never accomplish it. Jim Bradley, TV12, Tri-State Report.